all doing i hope you're all doing fine but if you're not fine it is my hope you're going to get well soon welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back thank you for your support i appreciate much if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and remember to hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how should a foreign woman dress or wear when you're visiting tanzania for those of you who know me you know i'm a tanzanian but if you did not know i'm a tanzanian living in italy so let's talk a little bit about tanzania or tanzania tanzania is located in east africa and its neighbors are uganda and kenya it is a very beautiful country and it has got a lot of tourist attractions like the famous zanzibar island which is heaven on earth the kilimanjaro mountain which is the tallest mountain in africa it has got a lot of national parks and game reserves like the serengeti national park the ngorongoro the lake manyara which has got lions which climbs the trees very beautiful guys so you can consider tanzania as your holiday destination in the years to come or in the next months to come not only that tanzanians are good people they are so welcoming they will smile at you you'll get this smile when you visit tanzania because tanzanians are so welcoming they're so warm they're so charming you will really enjoy your stay when you visit tanzania now let us start our topic of today of how should a foreign woman dress up or wear when visiting tanzania i have categorized this into four the first one is how should a foreign woman wear on a normal day casual way when you are in tanzania second party wear if you're invited to a party third beach wear and fourth when you go to the church if you're in tanzania it doesn't have a dress code but there is a certain way a woman in tanzania should dress up should present herself in the society category one of how should a woman dress up when you are in tanzania you are a foreign woman and this foreign woman i'm talking about is a woman of color a black woman just like me or you are mixed but you are black <laughs> just like tanzanians how should you wear on a normal day or casual way let's take an example you visit tanzania and you decide to stay in dar es Salaam, which is the biggest city there are two things that you really need to be careful about when you are in dar es Salaam and it's a normal day maybe you have decided to go and visit the local market like kariako which is the biggest market in tanzania or you just decide to take a bus and see how tanzanians live integrate you should be careful of how you dress up don't go to the bus station or you go to these local markets like kariako wearing the short outfit you're wearing a short dress or you are wearing a short just like this the one you see in the video and all your legs are out your waistline is out and you just move and tell yourself that i'm a foreigner <laughs> no one is going to care how i'm dressed up do not wear like that because it will be your worst day people are going to be yelling at you because the wrestling one thing you should put in mind you should know is that it has got a lot of hooligans especially in the crowded areas like those markets like in the bus stations people who don't have what to do they are there to steal from others so they are going to yell at you they are going to be doing like <laughs> all of the stupid things you could imagine some will even run after you i've witnessed one woman that her dresses were torn into pieces and she was left naked it was in a daylight people were shouting they were telling her you wanted to you wanted to be naked then be it be naked you know she was crying and 
Eventually the police came and intervened, but it was too late. So to save yourself embarrassment, to save yourself those yellings because they will yell at you they will call you they will ask you are you selling <laughs> you know? and even if you try to speak english to tell them that i don't speak swahili i'm not a tanzanian they will not understand you they'll tell you stop pretending <laughs> you know swahili you speak swahili why should you walk naked why are you walking naked so please make sure that if you want to go to local markets, want to take a bus and move around in streets, go to take maybe street food. We have very yummy street foods in Tanzania. So you want to go and take some street foods, be free. You should wear decently. If you're wearing a dress, then this dress, it shouldn't be too short. It can go over knee, but not too short or you shouldn't leave your waist out if you're wearing a trouser or a skinny jeans or a pant make sure that it covers half of your bums <laughs> that is a very decent way tanzanians dress up a tanzanian woman should dress up so that you can be free and enjoy your stay while you are in tanzania second thing you should care about your dress code while you are in Tanzania as a foreign woman is if you're visiting a government office because some government offices in Tanzania they cannot allow a woman wearing a pant or a skinny jeans or a short outfit so you need a long outfit if it is a skirt it is a dress it should be long and they will allow you in so to save yourself disappointments you just dress like that there's no problem <laughs> there are also some places that you can go in your shorts or crop tops tight outfits and no one is going to yell at you because those places have more civilized people or maybe it has got a lot of tourists like in the malls example Liman city mall it's an international mall where it has a lot of tourists so no one is going to yell at you or in places like Desibichi, Mikocheni, Oster Bay, those places you can walk in a very short outfit and no one is going to yell at you. But if you're going to mix yourself with locals, then you should wear in a very decent way. And guys, these yellings, they are not yelling at you because you are a foreigner. No, they are yelling at you because you are black you are just like any other tanzanian lady so they will yell at you they used to yell at me too i used to get angry i wish to had a gun and shoot <laughs> everyone that is yelling at me like calling me like pss, pss, pss. <laughs> but i can't kill anyone guys but it is so annoying very very annoying <laughs> So that was all about Dar es Salaam if you decide to stay in Dar es Salaam which is the biggest city. Now, how about the small cities like Moshi, Arusha, Dodoma, how should you dress up? If you are in those cities which are not big, small cities, it has a lot of elders and it is more about culture. <laughs> it's not about the hooligans which are in Dar es Salaam, no. Now we are talking about culture and traditions. If you dress up in very short outfits, tight outfits, you are going to be embarrassed. People are going to look at you like you've committed a very big crime, <laughs> especially the elders. And you won't be surprised if some of those elders or elder women come and cover you up like no you cannot walk like that you cannot dress like that you are naked <laughs> but in real sense you are not naked for them they consider a woman should walk in public covered herself you are not showing your legs you're not showing your waistline you are fully covered <laughs> so when you visit those cities 
try to cover yourself up as much as you can don't dress in very tight outfits or short outfits and you will enjoy these people are going to treat you very good you won't get bad looks and no one is going to come and cover you up with kanga or kitenge <laughs> category two party wear <laughs> how should a foreign woman who is black just like a tanzanian lady dress up in a party if you're invited to a party let's take an example it's a wedding party they have invited you how should you dress up they say when you go to rome do as romans do so if you're invited to a tanzanian party let's take an example this party is a wedding party and it's going to have people of all ages like the young ones and the older ones make sure you dress up decently something that is not too tight something that is not very short something that will make you feel free integrate with people meet new people freely dance enjoy the party and avoid bad looks <laughs> otherwise if you go in a very short outfit tight outfit an outfit that shows you waistline or your stomach guys you are going to left seated because people are going to look at you people are going to discriminate you just because of the way you are dressed up so to save yourself that to enjoy the party and have fun dress decently and freely an example of the dresses you can wear is like this dress here it's a kitenge dress <laughs> so you can just dress like that dress or a dress that is of that length that is not too tight not too short <laughs> any dress of your choice but avoid short avoid very short short dress and very very tight dress why i'm saying tight you know there is this mentality especially Tanzanian men <laughs> they consider if a woman dresses up like you are showing some parts of your body it means that you are trying to seduce them that is why if a dress is too tight they will look at your back and they start yelling at you call you and tell you that you are seducing them you know <laughs> so it's better to cover yourself up dress decently there is no problem and by the way your stay is not that you're staying in tanzania forever <laughs> it's just maybe for a month or weeks so do as romans do do as tanzanians do to be on the safer side to add on the point of party where i've talked of the party where whereby this party has got people of all ages now what if the party is for the young people if the party is for the young people and it's at night you can dress up as you wish <laughs> because it's at night and it's only for young people or maybe you're going to the club you want to go to the club with a maxi dress or you want to go to the club with a very long outfit no you dress up in a short outfit those sexy outfits but make sure that you take uber or you take a taxi or you take tuk tuk which is bajaj <laughs> again you cannot take a bus and go to those parties in your sexy outfits <laughs> and when you come back the same make sure that you return with the taxi bajaj or uber <laughs> don't take a bus at all when you are wearing your short outfits category three the beach wear <laughs> like i said we have the famous zanzibar island but not only that we have a lot of beaches everywhere like in tanga Dar es Salaam, bagamoyo we have a lot of beaches so you have to go to the beach if you go to the beach what happens to the beach remains at the beach <laughs> why do i say this when you go to the beach you can dress up as you like you can wear your bikini and swim 
and be free you know enjoy the sun sunbathe and all that but after the beach do not go in streets with your beach wear do not go in streets wearing a scarf and tell yourself that i am from the beach no one is going to understand you're from the beach they're going to think that you have some any other intentions <laughs> so what happens to the beach remains at the beach you can dress up anyhow any way you want to dress at the beach enjoy the beach atmosphere but when you finish dress normally and and go home <laughs> another thing i wanted to talk about it is something like a tip <laughs> so you are in tanzania you are a woman and you decide to buy kanga or kitenge <laughs> which is like it's like a traditional wear yeah every woman in tanzania has kanga has got kanga and kitenge <laughs> even me i have kanga just like you see here <laughs> so if you buy kanga make sure that if you tie it don't tighten it don't tighten it to an extent that it it tightens your bums no just tie it in a very loose way first of all if you tighten it so much you're going to fall you won't be able to walk very freely and another thing is that again you don't want to show your bums so you need to loosen it a little bit and <laughs> enjoy your kanga wear <laughs> And category four which is the last one how should you dress up if you're a foreign woman but your color is just like any other Tanzanian woman and you want to visit the church you want to visit the house of God you want God's presence while you are in your vacation you want to visit the church while you are in Tanzania maybe a Catholic church or Protestant church then make sure that your dress is long your skirt is long your outfits are not tight at all <laughs> and then go to the church because if you go with an outfit that is short or tighter do you know what is going to happen they won't allow you in the church this is true guys they will not <laughs> you have to go back home so in order for you to be free in order for you to go to the house of god make sure you go with a long outfit and which is not too tight <laughs> i have decided to talk about a woman of color a black woman just like a tanzanian woman but you are a foreigner because if you're a white woman and you visit tanzania they will all look at you as a tourist no one is going to yell at you no one is going to look at your dress code because you are a tourist <laughs> because of your color but if you are black then they consider you as a tanzanian the only words the white woman will get is muzungu jambo and they call muzungu because muzungu is a white person so they say muzungu jambo hakuna matata or oh, give me one dollar just those words you know <laughs> or rafiki no one is going to yell at you so that is how important it is if you are a woman of color whether you're black american or whether you're from asia or india everywhere but you are black then it's very important to be careful about your dress code before i finish my video i know some of you might have been wondering what is that scarf <laughs> around her neck guys this is the flag of my country tanzania and it's written Amani Africa, which is Peace Africa. <laughs> Tanzania is a very peaceful country, guys. It's so peaceful. <laughs> Leave alone those things that I have said. It is a very peaceful country. You are safe when you are in Tanzania. Amani Africa, Amani Tanzania. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something out of this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it. Share it with your friends, family, everyone that you know wants to come and visit Tanzania and is a foreign, is not a Tanzanian, but has the same color as Tanzanian women. Share this video with her. <laughs> Comment below what you think. Tell me, guys, what do you think? 
and if you have plans to visit Tanzania subscribe to my channel watch my other videos too I love you so much guys you are always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.